Hello, thank you for watching. I'm Das Goravani. With this new Jyotish Studio 3 Release 7 for Macintosh OS X, um, one problem has arisen for quite a few of the OS X users, and it has to do with the fonts. What you see on screen after you install on the charts is just little squares. That's, of course, wrong. What you're seeing there is the old font that was with the old versions of Jyotish Studio and it did not get removed and it is not allowing the new font that this one installed to work. So we're going to remove the old font and then the new font will begin to work. And if we have to, we can install the new font again. This video will show you how to do that. Um, to clarify a few things first before I show you on screen, um, on Mac OS X fonts can go in two places. The main library and then in the fonts folder of that library so that's for the whole system and then for each user there is a library which has a fonts folder and those are fonts just for that user when that user is logged in if you're the only user on your Mac then it really doesn't matter user and main is the same ultimately because you see it all all the time but if there are different users on a Mac then each one has their own font. So we want to get the font up into the main one so that all users on the Mac can use Jyoti Studio and it will look correct. And we want to get rid of that old font. So I'm going to show you right now how to do that. I'm going to come over here and click on font book and it popped up here and we see there's user and then all fonts. User is highlighted and here is a Jyotish font. If I right click on it and say reveal in finder, it shows me down here that it's called Jyotish TT or true type. This is the old one. Jyotish TT or true type is the old font that we want to get rid of. Now this is in the fonts folder in library on my user just so happens. Now it could be in the other place where fonts are which is in your main library. But in any case we want to find and get rid of these Jyotish true types. So I'm going to literally just highlight this and drag it to the trash or in my case I'm going to do command backspace which is command delete and it goes to trash and then I'm emptying the trash and that one is now gone. Now I'm opening my hard drive and I go to applications right here which is where your Jyoti Studio will be installed and you click that and here's the contents of your Jyoti Studio 3 folder and one of the folders is called fonts right here and I'm opening that and inside is two that looks like two files that's actually how type 1 fonts are structured in two files. So I'm going to double click on this one here, Jyotish. Double click on it and this little window appears and it shows me the font and there's a button install font and I'm going to click that and then what happens is we see over here under user it puts Jyotish in. Now if I right click on this one and say reveal in finder then we see two files here and that's the right one, that's the one we want, and that's it, you're done. Now when you launch Jyoti Studio 3, release 7, the fonts will work correctly on the Mac. So it's a matter of getting rid of the old Jyotish font and installing the new one. Thank you very much.